Hey friends, it's Emma from Emma K Plans and welcome back to another haul video. Um, first thing I guess I should probably address, although you probably can hear it already, I do have a bit of a croaky voice. Um, today is Saturday and on Thursday I completely lost my voice and couldn't talk. So it is slowly coming back, um, but I really need to get some videos filmed today. So there's going to be a few like this, um, but I hope... <clears throat> I hope it's okay, there's probably going to be a few like cuts and stuff when I need to take a break um, but as I said I really need to get some stuff filmed so part one of this whole video is going to be a little croaky um, and then my US box is currently on the way, I'm expecting it to be here early next week so this video should be up by the weekend and I'm hoping by next week I'll be um, back to normal so it should only be a small part of this haul. Anyway. So, um, I recently went on my trip and came back and I had a few, well, I had one, no, I had one order waiting for me and then I had a little parcel from my friend Shannon who recently moved, um, she's from New Zealand and she moved over to the States, so she messaged me and she's like, hey, I know you love circle icons, um, do you want some? And I was like, yes, of course I do. Um... So she sent me a little parcel with some goodies, so mainly circle icons and then some other stuff, which was very generous of her. I feel like she sent it quite a while ago, um, but even though New Zealand and Australia are quite close, the post seems to take forever. So anyway, I'm just going to quickly kind of flip through, um, but she did send me like a literal shit ton of um circle icons which I'm very thankful for and then some other like bits and pieces so if you didn't already know um I am literally a whore for circle icons um I'm so sad that they're no longer in foil bundles and I don't understand how people don't like them like they're literally my shit so this is like the jackpot so um, as I flip through them, I'm kind of going to sort them at the same time. So we've got gold, sparkly pink, sparkly red, um, pink, sparkly red, sparkly red, sparkly red, which y'all know <laughs> that's what I want. Gold, um, sparkly hollow, sparkly hollow. Um, this is like a pink. Um, some of these have been used already, so I'm going to do a little de stash pile of ones that I'm probably not going to keep. Um, these are like pink color. It's like the same color, but sparkly, is it? Yeah, not exactly. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I'm going to do like a keep and not keep pile. I will be keeping most of them, honestly. I've got black, which is so helpful. I love that. Copper, I love copper. Sparkly orange, sparkly green. I'm actually using a sparkly green bundle um, coming up in December, so that's going to be super handy. We've got grape soda, sparkly hollow, copper, sparkly pink, sparkly gold, sparkly gold. I'm going to get a room at bronze. Um, is that copper as well? This is like halfway between, so that's copper, that's this colour, and then that's matte bronze. It's like halfway between copper and matte bronze. I don't know what colour to call that. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to put it in copper because that's what it looks like to me, but it's literally like right in the middle. Um, we have blue, we have rainbow, we've got rainbow, we've got silver, freaking hell, we've got black, sparkly red, a light sparkly pink, we've got blue, We've got ice, we've got light purple, we've got green, I'm probably not going to keep this because I don't use that colour. We've got mixed metal, hollow, sparkly hollow, we've got gold, um, mixed metal, this is like literally my dream come true. We've got silver, I don't even know where I put silver, over here, um, sparkly gold, it's like a matte gold, I probably won't keep that only because I don't really have a foil that goes with it. Oh, I'll okay. keep that's like champagne lights. We've got silver. So obviously most of these are from SPC and then these are from Murdoch Talks. Purple and navy. Okay, so <laughs> that's a lot of shit. Um I am gonna 
pull up the ones that probably aren't going to slot into a foil like as in I don't have any of this foil colour um, and then I will I have a separate section for like where I keep that sort of thing that I don't have enough um, blue purple I don't have any of that colour cool so this is just like these one off colours that I will keep separately and then I'm just going to gather these up and I will <clears throat> pop them away off camera but at least now they are organized so that was super generous I'm very thankful I will be using circle icons for days um, if you'll ever have circle icons that you don't want you can please let me know and I will gladly take them from you because I won't do a spread without them like they're just part of my shit so that was the first part of what she sent me and then she did send me some um, foil bundles. Um, I think a couple of these are like partially used um, but we'll see what we've got. <clears throat> so, okay this is like that weird halfway between copper and matte bronze colour. Um, so that's cool, I have like a whole bundle worth of that I will pop these weird copper ish <laughs> stickers with that. I've got some bottle washi overlays. I've got rose bows, hollow stars, hollow hearts, copper stars, blue combination, and orange combination. And then I've got some leftovers of this foil bundle. I've got the bottom washi, which is great. Um, one overlay is so I don't know if that's enough to do a spread. I might combine it with like a pink or a purple. And then I have I'm trying to go through this pretty quickly because I know it's not like super interesting. Um, Pink Sparkle which is awesome. I love this colour. Um, I have used it to death so I will definitely use more of it. And then some leftovers of Orange Sparkle which again is another one of my favourite foil colours so they will go to very good use. Um, and then I did get some like little bits and bobs um, that she sent over. So I've got like this little die cut, which is Christmas. I've got this planner girl um, die cut. And then I've got this, which is so cute. I think I'm going to put this on my um, iPad cover. And then I have um, Happiest Place on Earth, A Tale as Old as Time from um, Sticky Essentials. And now that I'm thinking about it, I'm pretty sure... I used this one and it's actually rose gold, not gold, and I meant to use gold, so that's really fucking annoying. My gold spread. So I'm going to put this one aside and I'm literally going to stick it over the top of the rose gold one so you can't see it. I have some icons from Sadie's stickers and headers which are in like a shattered hollow. <coughs> um, some little stickers um, here, some matte stuff from Peaceful Mind Design. Um, I used to have a lot of these, this is kind of like a real throwback. And then some Tanny and Friends from Glam Planner. So, thank you again, Shannon. I very much appreciate um, you sending this stuff to me. Like, I really do. It's going to go to good use. Good luck in your new country. It's pretty scary, but um, good luck. <laughs> And yeah, again, I appreciate what you've done for me. So I will go off camera and organize this shit. Then I had an order, which I actually didn't realize that I sent to my house instead of my US box, but I did. So I have an order from Planner Choco. Um, this is some Christmas items. So I've gone through and like sorted them into colors. So I've got the Snowflake freebie. I bought some stuff in red, only a couple of items. Obviously I have a lot of red foil um, and she doesn't do sparkly red so these are just in um, like normal red which I much prefer sparkly red but like when they're laid down I don't think you're going to be able to tell. So I got the quote boxes, we've got Santa Baby, Holly Jolly, Ho Ho Ho, Fa La La and I liked how simple these were, like that was like the main draw card. I got two of the 
um, Christmas underlay sheets um, to go with one of my Christmas kits and they just say like Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. I thought these were unique um, and something different to try so that's why I've got those. And then oh, there's my friend who always has to come and make an entrance. Come on, it's time to go down. We don't come over here. There you go. Um, I have some items in green. These are to go with a kit that I have <laughs> planned, which is going to be, as Dermy would say, <laughs> truly unhinged. Uh, so we're going to see how that turns out. So I have the Santa full boxes. So I got like the less full ones, if you will. Um, the Christmas tree underlays in that color and then the bottom washi. And then in dark purple, I got the quotes. So let's get jolly, Merry Christmas, Mama Claus and Happy Holidays. I got the headers, the Christmas trees, and then the um, like tree underlays, uh, bottom washi. And then I picked up these two because I was already ordering. Um, these I'm not going to use for Christmas. I'm going to save the trees for winter. I just loved like the tree design and I think that's going to be perfect with some winter kids. So I just got it in silver and hollow because those are traditionally the colours that I use for winter. Um, so yeah, that was my kind of small order but some essential things. So I'm going to go through and sort those, I don't have my Christmas kits yet, those will be later on in the haul um, in my US box, but I've kind of got all my foil like um, spread out, so I'll pop those in there together. And then last but not least is kind of like a random thing, I guess. So I recently um, went on my trip and a few people suggested to me going to the, what's it called? I think it's called a little craft house um, in Houston. And I did, and I picked up lots of shit, so let's go through it. Um, here's the card. So yeah, little craft place um, in Houston, and it was really cool. I really liked it, so thank you. I know for sure Elisa from Plan With Elisa um, recommended it, but I feel like other people did too, so thank you. I got, like, some random stuff. I just, like, kind of was wondering and, you know spending money <laughs> so I'll go through the washi first I'm going to take them out of the packaging if I can um, to kind of show you better and I mean I need them open anyway so the washi that they have is just like incredible like obviously they've got the washi wall with like all the colors but I was more interested in like the like the patent stuff like the scene washi is just incredible. Like this, for example. How beautiful is this? I don't know when I will use it. I've only ever used one sunflower kit in my life, even though sunflowers are my favorite flower. But I know, I know there's gonna be a time that I need it and it's gonna be the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. So I am obsessed with that. That is just beautiful. Then we've got this um, like kind of under the sea washi, which is literally like the most beautiful, kind of looks like an aquarium, but it's just literally like under the sea. Um, can I get this up? Come on, come here. I really tried to like rein it in because I have so much washi that I don't use. But a few of these, I was just like, are you kidding me? Like, I have to have that. That is just, be like, that is so beautiful. I actually have a kit that I know that I'm going to use it with. I'm not, it's got gold foil and I'm not using gold, but I really, like, just do not care. It's so perfect otherwise. So, um, you'll see that coming up this summer. And then this is a winter washi. Why is this so hard to get open? I probably could have done this off camera, I apologize. Come on, don't play this game. Oh, it's like old school Simply Gilded where you have to squeeze it to open it. Okay. 
come off. Oh man, this is annoying. There we go. Okay, now. As I said, this is like a winter kind of theme. I tried to get a variation so I wasn't just buying like the same kind of washi or the same like season or theme or anything. Damn it. Depending how long this takes, I might cut this out. Okay, this is what it looks like. Again, how beautiful is that? And then it's got like the cabin. Like, I, I just, I know there is gonna be a winter kit. Where's that? That that is just the most perfect thing. Like, I don't use a whole lot of my Simply Gilded washi anymore. I just don't, I don't know, I just don't. But I feel like, surely, when the kit is perfect that matches some of these washies, like, I'm gonna use it because that's just like a whole other thing. Having like a seamed washi that matches, are you serious? And then we've got um, this, I, I saw quite a few space ones and I really, could have bought like a hundred, but I reined it in to this one. So this is silver foil. I thought it was super versatile. Like it's just so good. When there's a space kit that is gonna, like I mentioned the, um, the space birthday kit that just came out from SPC. I didn't buy it, but like imagine. When there is a space kit that I want, I know it's gonna be perfect. And then last but not least, um, I'll spare you guys opening this, but it's just, it's simply gilded. Um, I don't really have anything like this. Um, I really liked the color gradient and it's just in silver. So that is the washi that I got, stuck everywhere. And then they have um, like some Once More With Love um, stickers and other, a few other shops, but not ones that I really recognize. So I mainly picked up stuff from Once More With Love. I have gotten into a few of these. Um, I needed the sticker sheets, the stickers, so, um, but you can obviously see the sheet. So um, I generally don't order from Once More With Love because um, it kind of ends up a little too expensive. It's actually the case with a lot of character and doodle shops. like. Once I convert it to Australian dollars, it's often like over $5 a sheet. And if you think about it, like you add four sheets to your car and you've already spent 20 bucks, which is like, I feel like it's a lot of money. So I mainly shop from Paper Shire, honestly, because the conversion is like $3. Um, but it, I thought while I was away, you know, <laughs> holiday money doesn't count. So I picked some sheets up. A lot of these are mo mostly emotions, um, which I'm always looking for more of. So. I've got um, floating hearts, which is kind of like, um, like fangirling or like happy. I got TikTok, so cute, generally unwell, whatever. Kitty love, because as you saw before, I do have a cat. Uh, Munchkin Bob, blob, sorry, <laughs> I just this is me at all times. Um, cooking time 2.0 I just loved a lot of my cooking stickers are quite colorful so I just loved how neutral these were um, carnival fair I love theme parks and carnivals so these will definitely come in handy panda tired dark eye circles that's a long name but that's what it is organized stickers I have this sheet and I've used up most of it so I got another one eyes on you sleeping on the job and crybaby so I was happy with those little selection um, to refill my Once More With Love stickers. As I said, I haven't ordered in a long time, so. Then just some random stuff, which I'll go over quickly. So I do have a black cat. So I bought these um, like Japanese kind of stickers to use in my planner, but also just to use for other things. <coughs> um, and then if you didn't know, I have a like stuffed animal Shiba Inu, which is like my favorite thing in the world. <laughs> it comes everywhere with me. Um, so I just got these like stickers. I just love Shiba Inus um, to, I don't know what I would mark with them, but I often buy like 
the animal stuffed animal like cute outfits and things so maybe I could use them to mark that but in any case I just really liked them and then last but not least um, these are for my 2023 planner setup so a little bit of a spoiler um, but you'll see that in I hope to have a video up in December I'm just waiting on my inserts to come in um, and then I'll be able to set everything up but you've seen the planner before it is the um, like sage green and silver um, uh, cloud from Aura Estelle so I'm kind of going with a green nature kind of theme I've got some dividers and dashboards on the way um, and I think it's going to be a pretty cool theme that ties in with the colour of the planner. Um, so I picked up this die cut of America. Um, I just really loved how like all the states were designated with different flowers. I don't know if they're like the state flower or I don't know if that's a thing in America but um, I just really liked this. And then I got this die cut which is like a camping storm in a bottle. I just really thought this was super cool and then I got some clear stickers one is like of a window with um, plants and then this one is of like some plant pots so that is everything that I got from little craft something little craft place I think um, and yeah I really as I said recommend the store if anyone's ever in the area um, like I was I really liked it so that's everything for this part of the haul. I will be back um, in me time, a, about a week, and you time, a couple of minutes. Um, and that'll mostly be a lot of my Christmas kits um, and foil and that sort of thing. So I'll see you guys then. I am back with part two of my haul. Quick little note, I apologise, I'm filming this at night, so the only source of light is my artificial ring light. Normally I like to try and film with some sort of natural light, so it kind of is not like super offensive, but I really have to get this done, so I apologise. Um, it's not a huge um, haul, but um, there's enough. It's a lot of Christmas stuff, so you're going to see a lot of this now, and then probably again in my December lineup but well, you know that's all part of it so first things first is obviously you saw in part one um, I had a friend reach out to me and offer to send me some circle icons well another friend also reached out to me um, so Domi from Bonjour Domi um, asked oh well reached out and said hey got heaps of circle icons do you want and I'm like Yes, obviously, I love that you guys know me for circle icons, like it really, truly makes me happy, so thank you. Um, so I've got heaps of circle icons, I will sort these ones off camera because I also am kind of doing this, trying to film this quite quickly. My husband is coming home in like less than an hour and I need to have this filmed and hopefully my lineup filmed as well, so I'm kind of going to be going over things pretty quickly. So. Um, I'll quickly go through the foil colours, so I've got Black Prism, Rainbow Sparkle, Red, obviously, yes, this like um, pink orange tie-dye, this really, this foil is beautiful, it's like a teal blue, it's like the colour of my car, I love it, uh, green, green, green sparkle, champagne lights, like a satin blue, a darker blue, Blue sparkle, blue sparkle, blue sparkle, pink sparkle, magenta, magenta, hollow, matte bronze, gold, rose, hollow, uh, sparkly hollow. This is that weird, like, kind of copper, kind of not colour from before. Um, sparkly gold, gold, hollow, silver, hollow. And you can see, like, this is the really old size and then this is, like, the newer size. Um, I honestly like love both, so I have no issues. Holo, champagne lights, champagne lights, sparkly holo, sparkly holo, and then some of the matte um, ones, which I don't use the matte kits for anything other than the circle icons, so appreciate that. Sparkly holo, copper, rose, gold, sparkly, and rose. So those will be certainly put to good use. Um, I am very appreciative of you sending these to me. 
And yeah, I love circle icons. I can't do a spread without them. So um, these will be sorted into my foil binder, which I promise you I will film a video showing you. Um, but yeah, really appreciate that. So thank you, Domi. If you don't already, she also wrote me a cute note. Um, if you don't already, you should definitely follow um, Domi. Her unhinged holes are my favorite to watch. And I feel like she just does the best like foil combinations. So check her out on um, YouTube and Instagram. Then, getting into it, I might do a very quick order from Planner Hannah. So, um, I ordered this literally the day before Black Friday, so I knew there was going to be a Black Friday sale coming, but I also knew that the processing time was going to blow way out, and I need these for um, Christmas, so I just did like a really quick little Christmas order, um, and then this was like the order I was waiting on so I could ship my box and then have my Christmas lineup complete. But, spoiler alert, I fucked up and I, realized, I didn't realize one of my kits was missing, and so that order like hit my box like the day after I ordered my box to be shipped which is so annoying so that's gonna be in my next one but anyway I got this freebie um I really do not like this foil um I it just does not do it for me so I'm getting rid of that I got some custom quotes so I have family Christmas New Year's Eve happy new year and 2023 so I'm using um green with my New Year's kit, which you will see, I said if you watch my kit lineup. Honestly, I don't know if that video is going up first because it's already like the 6th of December and I don't like being super late, but we will see. Um, in Sparkly Red, I got Merry Christmas, It's the Grinch Day, Decorate, and Holly Jolly. So two of these I'm going to use in one spread and two of these I'm going to use in another. In Matte Bronze, I picked up... Um, these two to go together so I have the underlay holiday leaves and the modern tree um, to go with one of my kits and then I got lights and string lights in light gold to go with one of my kits which I actually now that I think about it I don't know what kit this is going with um, we'll see <laughs> And then I got silver candy cane to go with a kit and Christmas vibes to go with a kit as well. So that's in sparkly red. Very small order, but just some things that I needed um, so I can complete my uh, December liner. Then I've got some kits. So I'll go through, um, I've got some from Pink Diamond Planner Co. So I've got... The September and October Mysteries, which I have no doubt everyone's seen, so I'm not too worried about that. And then a kit from the main shop. Um, and then the kit that I'm actually missing in my lineup is also from Pink Diamond, so um, I'm really... Was vibing her kits this year, so I picked up the Merry Mistletoe kit. And I guess I should just go ahead and say it. Um, you'll also see the Merry Mistletoe art in the other colourway later on. So I really honestly truly couldn't decide between the two and I thought that these two kits that you'll see were different enough that um, it's okay. I'm using one at the start of the season and one at the end. Um, is it something I normally would do? No, but there's something about this colorway that really spoke to me and then I needed more traditional colors for the other one. So. This is the kit and I just, like this art is just divine. And then like the colors, hello. Oh, sorry, that was gross. Um, I just, I really, I'm not a huge fan of the bottom washi, so I'm gonna come up with something there, but I did pick up this bluey color to kind of break it up. Um, I'll try and see if I have like a simply gilded washi. If not, um, I'll go with it, but whatever. Um, and then it looks like I got this, I don't know if this is a freebie or if I ordered it, but I 100% I'm going to be using this, without a doubt. And then I did pick up some Fashion Girls, so I got um, these ones here because I think, well, actually she is the same girl. Um, I don't know why I picked these up, but I'll, I like them. And then I picked up these because these aren't in the art, and I really like these girls. So... That's Merry Mistletoe. And then I picked up, as I said, the mysteries. So I have September and October. Um, I apologise, I know you guys have seen these a lot, but 
as you all know, I do live in the fucking dark ages, so, um, I really have only not picked up the Feb mystery kit this year from Pink Diamond. Literally every other one I have picked up. And I didn't hate the February one, it just really, the colours weren't my taste. Everything else I've picked up, literally every single one, um, if I didn't have like such a aversion to like the whole mystery concept, I would subscribe, but she brings them to the shop. I've never had an issue with them selling out, and um, I prefer to see what I'm buying before spending my money, but um, I really, like, they have not missed. So this is the September mystery, and I believe it was called, like, City, um, City, Autumn City or something, um, which it kind of, that's what the kit is. And, I mean, I bought it for these colors. Like, the art is, is beautiful, don't get me wrong, but this is just the traditional warm autumn colours and then this like deep slate blue is just, I just it's doing something to me. And then I'm going to probably guess that I also picked up the extra colour because I feel like I often, I almost always do. But I'm trying to figure out what I would take out to use the extra colour so maybe I didn't. No, okay, that makes sense. So for this kit, I didn't buy the extra colour because, like, I wouldn't take out any of those colours. Um, sometimes I have, like, just added in the extra colour and done five colours, but I feel like this is just too good on its own, so. Obsessed with this. Um, that goes in this pile, actually. And then we have the October freebie, uh, sorry, I was looking at the freebie that I got. It says, good things are coming in Sparkly Hollow. Um, the October mystery, which is just exceeds like my wildest dreams for a winter kit. Um, uh, and last year during winter, I had a bit of a crisis where I just cracked it and did not want to buy or use neutral winter kits ever again. I just was so sick of them. And then fucking Pink Diamond just drops this. Like, are you kidding me? The colors is just, um... Like, I, it's winter, it's so winter, but it's not the same, like, blue and purple and pink colour scheme that we always get. It is so unique, and I just... They're doing something right. Pink Diamond Planico and Darcy, the artist, are really just doing something right, because... Like, are you kidding me? Is this the prettiest extra colour you've ever seen in your entire life? It might be. Like... I just, they're really killing it. Like, I can't say enough good things about it. I also have purchased the November mystery, and I am eagerly awaiting the reveal of the December one. And I also have purchased the Cyber Monday mystery. So, I really am just obsessed with her shop, and as I said, can't say enough good things. So, um, I'm going to put that out of the way somewhere. I'm trying to organise, like, Christmas and non-Christmas as I go, because that will be... My lineup, which is the next video I film. Um, trying to see if my cat is about to jump up here because I feel like she is. No, okay. Next, we're going to go into Glam Planner. So I have an order and a mystery kit. The mystery kit is actually very recent. Um, it's November, so I'll give you a warning if you haven't seen it um, or you don't want to see it. Um, I'll go through my order first. So I got this freebie pack. Um, which I don't know if I'll keep anything from here, but I always appreciate it. So, looks like we've got the double box from the Aladdin inspired kit, the purple foil from the October 2021 mystery, which I already have. I've got the fashion girls from a um, autumn kit that I have. This, which is from the spring it's like fa fairy, spring fairy something, which I also have used. This is from a summer kit. This is from the um, wildflower, <coughs> excuse me, art. Um, I'm actually going to keep this because I have the kit and it doesn't have much. Actually, no, I've used the kit already. Never mind. Um, this is from, I think, one of my favorite mysteries ever, like the breakfast mystery. Um, don't know what art this is from. Check boxes, full boxes, and um, 
washi, so none of that's really useful to me, so I'm just going to put it in my de-stash pile. Um, but in terms of kits, um, I got one kit, and it's actually art from last year, but it was um, popped into the new format, which, if y'all know me, I fucking hate reformats, and I've been quite vocal about that. Um, but I didn't use this art last year and I needed an extra kit um, and I really I really liked it last year I just couldn't squeeze it into my lineup so I'm actually happy that she brought it back I would have bought it in the old format but I mean the new format is better so it is pine cones and spruce and it is this beautiful like homely warm it reminds me of the um, like balsam candle, which is my favourite candle um, from Bath and Body Works, and I just really love her. Um, this is I don't think the blue was included. No, oh, no, it was. Sorry, I took maybe the pink. I don't know. I feel like the colours are a bit different from the original, but I could be completely making that up. Um, so some of the foil that you saw from Planner Hannah is actually to go with this kit, which you'll see. Um, yeah, I feel like the colours are different because I don't love this pink colour and I probably wouldn't have you... I don't know if I would have bought it if I'd known the pink was in there. It just doesn't really do it for me. But anyway, I got the double box and then I remembered to buy the right coloured hair. So I got the brown haired Fashion Girls. Um, I purely bought it for this person, this girl. I don't think I'll use any of the kids, um, but I might use this extra box. So that was pine cones and spruce, and that's going into my Christmas lineup. And then next I have um, the November mystery. So again, click out if you don't want to see it. Um, I feel like this is like the fastest I've ever um, shown a mystery kit in my haul. Like normally I'm so far behind, but this one must have like just got to my box when I ordered it. So. Um, it is Red Riding Hood themed and I really, really, really am into this. I really loved the Red Riding Hood art that we had probably five years ago now um, that a lot of shops used and I feel like five years is enough time for a, a refresh um, and I really enjoy this. So obviously I love <laughs> red foil so I don't see how I'm going to use this without using red foil. I don't know if I'll use like sparkly red or the red, like the wine red from Caress Press. I've got to get it out, but I feel like it could look really good. Um, or if not, maybe even like the burgundy from Alicia Craft. Um, but I'll definitely be using some form of red foil regardless, like that's non-negotiable. The double box is a bedroom, which I really don't really get. I don't really love that. The label sampler and then the fashion girls, which are Red Riding Hood. And then it comes with Sparkly Hollow, which just makes no sense to me whatsoever. Um, I will be keeping this page because it's very neutral and I will use it like for a winter kit. But I will most likely be moving along the extra pages because, again... They just make no sense to me, honestly. So that is a Red Riding Hood, and that was the November mystery from um, Glam Planner. And then, <coughs> excuse me, finally, um, we have Caress Press. Um, I have two orders from Caress Press, including my biggest ever order from any planner shop, which I'll go through after this. Um, I was just feeling spendy, and I had a big cart, and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to buy it. I don't want to go through and remove shit and like, do I want this? Do I want that? And I just bought the whole thing. It cost me like almost $300, which is fucking bizarre for me, but whatever. So we'll go through that in a minute. But um, this I ordered after, and this is the, I think it's called like, uh, what's it called? What's it called? What's it called? Mistletoe. It's called Mistletoe, and it's in um, pine green. And I just thought this was so beautiful. Um, I really like <laughs> this is going actually this is a lot lighter than I expected it was gonna be I thought it was gonna be more of like a pine green but it's more of like a true sparkly green so this is gonna actually slot up into my lineup nicely I didn't realize but um, so when it's kind of a niche foil color I'll either buy two or four depending on how many I think I'm gonna use um, so I'll buy one Full kit and one mini kit because um, I use one page of underlays, so I will bring across 
one page of bougie and keep that with the mini kit and then I have two full kits essentially. So that is, um, oh I didn't even flip through it, I'm sorry, I'm a bad planning girl. So um, one page of full boxes in the normal full box size, you get the extra full boxes and the tall box. Um, headers. I'm obsessed with this bow. It reminds me of the print pression bow, which I um, love. I love that in the foil bundle that he put together with SPC. Um, so I love this style of bow. And then the updated format. So very happy with that. Um, I also got uh, a freebie, it looks like. Looks like an autumn freebie. So it's like these leaves and it's in silver and then um, this is part of my 2023 <laughs> excuse me planner lineup which you will see um, later on in the month I'm gonna do a video um, but my theme is kind of like earthy neutral green tones as you would have seen um, with my stuff that I picked up from the little craft place um, so I picked up these tab um, dividers in boho and the silver months because my planner is silver um, this year got silver hardware and then I picked up these inserts so I'm gonna like keep the packaging so I'll take these white pages off for now but I'm gonna put them back um, so I've never used caress press inserts before I've used previously um, ones from Aura Estelle and then ones from OK Plans last year. I have no issues with the OK Plans ones. Um, however, I just felt Caress Press came out with her inserts first. I want to get my planner set up um, and good to go. Like, I honestly don't even know if Aura Estelle has brought out her inserts this year. Um, I think OK Plans has them in her shop year round, but I don't know. I just thought I normally shop from Caress Press. I already have a cart, like let's just order from a shop that I know. Everyone else uses her inserts and I've never seen them have a problem so I'm sure I won't have a problem either. And looking at them, they are fabulous. Very white paper is what I've noticed. Um, so I ordered the, what does it say? No. Um, the, there's no months in here so it's just like continuous dated. I think that's what it's called. So it's literally like five straight weeks. I don't want to like mess these up too much before the month and then the month tab is literally printed on here and then you go to like the next month so um, I didn't want to do monthlies I didn't want to do cover pages I just wanted something simple but something I missed this year is tabs so I really like how they're tabbed and then I'm going to as I said put on these labels with the silver um, dates so Again, I will post a video um, outlining or detailing or showing my 2023 planner setup once I've kind of got it ready. I am waiting on some dashboards and inserts, no, dashboards, um, that will probably be in my next haul um, to kind of get it finalised. So, oh, the, I knew I saw it. So, the Continuous Weeks A5 Wide Undated Inserts is what I picked up. And then, as I said, last but not least, I have this fucking monstrous Crest Press order, which kind of scary looking at it. It's like, this is $300, but, you know, <laughs> oh, I guess it's a lot of kids. Like, let's be honest. That is a lot of kids. Um, let's go into the foil first. So, I picked up... Oh, okay. So what I've done is, again, like picked up two of each foil bundle um, because that's how, as I just explained, um, my brain works. If there's only like mini left then or full, that's fine. I'll, I just like will order that. But my preferred method is one of each. And then if it's a foil bundle that I think I'm going to use a lot, um, I will pick up four. So two minis and two ultimates to make four bundles. I just think that's the best value for me. So um, I'll go through these. This is a um, snowflake format in, um, I think it's Shattered Hollow, but it's close enough to Sparkly Hollow that I don't mind. Um, I probably didn't need this, to be honest. Like I have enough snowflake hollow things, but I just really liked her format. Um, and I really do prefer Sparkly Hollow to 
regular hollow, so I decided, you know, <clears throat> why not? You're already making a fucking ginormous order. Let's just make it worse. So that's in Sparkly Hollow. I believe that's Mystery Overstock from her October Mystery, um, which you'll see in a minute. But um, I actually don't think it goes with the Mystery, so I'll be keeping it separate. I'll just be using it as a winter bundle, just generic. Um, okay, so then we've got this foil bundle, which is called Jingle Bells in Red Sparkle. Of course, it's Red Sparkle. I just couldn't say no. It's themed, um, and I will be using this in one, if not two, um, spreads. Uh, no, spreads is the right word. Um, December spreads this year, so... This is the bundle. Um, I believe this was a reformat of the bundle last year. It kind of looks familiar, um, but I could be wrong. So that's in Red Sparkle. And then finally, I have the same foil bundle, but in Champagne Lights. And I really, I was watching SPC's haul video and she mentioned that um, she gave Caress Press the code like the foil code for champagne lights and I really think that is <laughs> she's done one for the team because I m break up my foil bundles and I mix and match my foil bundles so to be able to have the actual same color um, as the SPC one is really something so um, it's the exact same foil bundle but in champagne lights so those were the three foil bundles that I got and then I picked up four kids so <coughs> We're going to go through those. Mainly holiday kids. Actually, I think they're all holiday kids. Oh, no, except one. Um, okay, so this kit is called Noel, and this is exclusive art um, with Sadie Piper designs. So um, I actually picked this up. I know it's a Christmas kit, but I'm going to use it as a winter kit. And for most people, that probably sounds not that weird because you would use it in January. Well, for me, winter's in June, July, August, so it's nowhere near Christmas. And there definitely are some Christmas elements to this kit. However, to me, I posted this on my story when the art came out. This is the Dutton Ranch from Yellowstone, and you cannot tell me other. You cannot tell me that was not the um, inspiration photo. And I fucking love Yellowstone. So I'm deciding if I want to keep this for like the final, you know, season premiere or season finale or if I just want to use it as a winter kit. But either way, it's not going to be a Christmas kit for me. I just don't have enough room um, and I would prefer to use it for something else. I also think the colours are perfect for like that Yellowstone, like Montana vibe, like the rustic brown, the green. I just, I really, I really vibe with this kit. Um, the freebie box is the Christmas baubles, so probably not going to use that one. And then I picked up two fashion girls. I got the brunette who's like standing at the front of the house, so I love that. And then the tall box um, who is wearing this beautiful gold skirt and the 15mm. So it's definitely a holiday kit. I, I can clearly see that, but um, sometimes you just have to get creative and make it work, which is what I am going to do. Next we have the October Mystery, which I mentioned previously. I've also get, got four minutes left before my camera cuts out, so I need to keep an eye on that. So I saw this sneaked and I knew I had to buy it. It's very up my alley, even though I swore I was off neutrals for winter. I, I swore to myself I wasn't going to do it. But this art was so beautiful, I couldn't say no. Um, in person, actu actually, you know what? I have been seeing this kit in so many hauls and I thought this was black, grey, grey, brown. But it's not, it's literally blue. Blue, blue, brown. Which is okay. I said no neutrals and this isn't neutral. Oh my god, It's bl this is like a game changer. I really was talking myself into this one because I was like, you said no neutral kits, you hate neutral kits, don't do it. But no, this is blue. I am so happy now. Um, you get this replacement box which goes up here because the sky then matches, um, or you use the ones down here and the sky matches. I just love that like attention to detail. 
Um, obviously it was a mistake in the first place, but I appreciate the attention to detail to fix it. The fashion girls, and then the front page. So, uh, obsessed with that, Sadie Piper designs, I feel like my whole haul is literally a Sadie Piper designs this time. Um, and I love what she's been doing, I love that she's been getting gigs as the exclusive artist, especially with Caress Press. Um, the December mystery from Caress Press just got sneaked and I'm for sure getting that from her, so I just feel like, girl, I'm pretty sure you watch my videos, um, I really just love what you're doing. Keep doing it, please, we need more artists out there. Um, and I, yeah, I love what you're doing, so. Um, I'm gonna cut the clip so it doesn't cut me off mid-sentence. And we are back. So, um, next is, this is that same art that I told you about, but I feel like it's different enough that I am okay with it. Um, also, I don't think I mentioned I get my kits from Caress Press in the essential size. I think it's the perfect format for me. I don't need anything bigger, so. Um, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna compare because I need to know. <laughs> I need to know. So. Uh, this is the kit from Caress Press, which I will go through in a second. And this is a kit from Pink Diamond. Let me try and zoom out a little bit. They look completely different, do they not? I feel like I am so fine with using both of these. Like they look completely, not just colors, but the, even like even the house, which is clearly the same house, looks different. Okay, that's fine. I needed to run the exercise, but I feel better now. I am fully okay with using the same art twice for the first time in my whole life. Um, so this is also called Merry Mistletoe, but it is the other colorway. Um, it's a bit more traditional. This is gonna be my lead-in for the December season, so just kind of starting off traditional and then I generally try and mix it up like I'll do traditional that's really zoomed in non-traditional traditional etc etc um, I think the green and red is gonna pop so well off here and then I just yeah I love it um, and then I got some extra boxes this girl I couldn't say no to she would I think this was like the sneak of the art when it first came out and I was like whoo yes extra boxes and then this girl I love um, the diversity there okay we're almost done we're working through how much time do I have e <laughs> not very long uh, next is my probably Christmas week kit um, I'm not 100% sure but most likely because uh, it is traditional colors which is a rule for me it has to be traditional colors on Christmas and it is the Holly Jolly set. I bought this from Caress Press as opposed to other shops because I feel like her colors like popped so much off the page. Um, and in person that definitely is really true. I don't love this mint color included as like a Christmas kit, um, but I loved the art and the, the vibrancy of the art enough to buy it from Caress Press. Um, the freebie boxes, the tall box, I think I, yeah, I bought that one. And then I got the, um, couple for this person because he looks like my husband. And then the 15 millimeter. so I'm excited about that. And then finally I have a kit that you're going to be like, Emma, what the hell? And I also say the same thing to my brain, but whatever. Also, all my freebies are in here. Um, so, I'll go through those last, which makes no sense, but whatever. This is <laughs> the Harvest Kit, which is Silly Studio Thanksgiving Art. And I already have one Thanksgiving kit that I didn't use. However, I could not say no to this. The level of detail in this art is just mind blowing. And I am gonna use this as a autumn kit um, rather than a Thanksgiving kit. I, it definitely is Thanksgiving, but I don't care. The colors are autumn and I wanna use it in autumn, so I'm going to. Um, maybe I'll have like a fake Thanksgiving dinner or something. Um, it's just too beautiful not to use and as I said, I already bought one Thanksgiving kit that I didn't get to use because I went to Disney instead. She is incredible. Full boxes and the bottom washi. So, I could not 
<clears throat> I couldn't not. And that, my friends, is everything for my, let's call it Christmas haul. Um, I apologise, it, it was a little rushed. I just really needed to get it done. Um, I promise next month is going to be, I did a lot of Black Friday shopping this year, which is unusual for me. Um, I really normally kind of rein it in, but this year I fucking went off. So it'll probably be a big haul next month with lots to go over. Um, but anyway, thank you for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.